Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, a few questions. Do you like sim racing? Do you like ACC? Do you like winning prizes? Do you like cold hard cash? Well, if the answer is yes to all of those questions, you're in the right place because today we're going to be having a look at the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you sign up for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. I'm going to show you the process for joining a qualifier race. I'm going to talk about the format in general, and we're also going to talk about this. This is the Logitech G Pro Direct Drive Steering Wheel, and we're going to talk a little bit about that as we do our qualifying race. So as I mentioned, there is cold hard cash up for grabs, $100,000 in prize money up for grabs throughout the series. There's also going to be $50,000 worth of Logitech prizes to be given away. And there's also one prize that you can't really put a price on. It's a VIP trip to Austria to the Red Bull ring and the chance to meet Lando Norris. And you don't even have to win the event to get that amazing prize and a visit to Austria. All you need to do is take part in the qualifying phase, which we're going to do now. And if you do that, then you're automatically entered into the draw to win that prize. I want to win that prize. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Let's sign up and let's qualify. So let's get cracking. We'll open your browser of choice. And we're going to type in there Logitech McLaren G Challenge. And then it will come up towards the top. We'll click that one. We've already clicked it. So it's logitechgchallenge.com. I will leave links down below in the description. When we've done that, we're presented with this page. It gives us a little bit more information about the Logitech G Challenge. Now here you can see Compete Now or View Schedule. So we'll click View Schedule and you can see this is the previous schedule, what's already been and gone. But on the right hand side, you can see this is the last chance qualifier. So we've only got until the 4th of March 2023 to take part. So don't hang around, get signed up. So the next step is to click Compete Now. So we'll click that, and that takes us to the simracing.gp website. And here is all the information about how to enter the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. It tells you all about the series and some instructions a little bit further down. So the first thing we need to do is head to the Logitech G Challenge Discord server. So we'll click that one. Then we'll accept the invite. We'll continue to Discord. And on the left-hand side of the Discord, you will see there, there is a section that says SGP password. That is where we will get the password for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. So we click that one. And the password is here. So once we've done that, we can close the Discord. We've got the password. And then we can head over to the events tab. Click that one. And here are all of the qualifiers that we can take part in. But what we need to do first, we need to join the Logitech McLaren G Challenge community. And you can see there at the top, we can click join. You have to associate your Discord account with SGP. So we'll click associate. And there, associate, it will come up with some information. We'll click authorize. So when we've done that, our Discord is now associated with simracing.gp. So we can come out of that one. And now we can click join again at the top. And here's where we need to put in the password that we got from the Logitech McLaren G Challenge Discord. So I'm going to type that in now and click associate. And here we are, we get some terms and conditions and sweepstake terms and conditions. So every week there are sweepstakes on the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. So if you take part in one of the splits after you've qualified one of the races, then you are entered into a sweepstake to win prizes every single week. So if you're happy with the terms and conditions, you can click accept and click join. And these are now the qualifiers that we can take part in. As you can see, they are every 15 minutes. Now you need to have two people 
in the race. It's only a short race. You need to have two people at least. And in that race, you need to do 100% distance. And you also need to have four clean laps. That's all you need to do to qualify. So you don't need to be super quick. All you need to be is safe. Do four clean laps. Finish the race. And that's you qualified. You can then enter into the preceding races. And once you've done the qualifier, well, you entered into that draw to win that VIP trip to the Red Bull ring and meet Lando Norris. So there is one qualifying race going to be happening in just over three and a half minutes time. So we're going to look at joining that one. So we click on it. And in here, we've got information about participants. So there's two people signed up. The car that we're going to be using is the McLaren 720S GT3. The event configuration where it tells you all about the practice session, the race session, how long it is, etc., etc. And if we wanted to, we can have a look at previous lap records. But firstly, we're going to choose our car. So we'll click that one. There's only one to choose from. It's the McLaren 720S. We can pick a race number if we wish. Uh, what should we have? 60. And we'll click the car and we'll click confirm. And that is us successfully registered for this qualifying race. But there are a couple of other things that we need to do. This um, hashtag here, we need to copy that one because that's what we're going to search for when we actually get into ACC. So we can copy that to the clipboard. And then when the server goes live, it will give us a password at the bottom, which we will need when we get into ACC. But just over two minutes, we'll wait and I'll show you how we do it when we actually get in the simulator. So 30 seconds to go, still looking promising. There are three of us signed up for this race. So this qualifying race will count. All we need to do is do 100% distance and have four clean laps. 10 seconds, I'm actually quite excited. Right, let's see what happens when the timer gets to zero. Here we go, launching. So the server is launched. Please start your set of course of competency on a game and look for the server and it gives us a list of the server. And then we've got that hashtag there towards the end. So we'll copy that again, make sure it's copied to the clipboard. So after a little while, it does give you a server password. So just take note of that password. It is the same one that we got from the Discord a little while ago. So you don't need to copy it as long as you can remember it. And this is the thing we need to be searching for, this hashtag, when we get in ACC. So in ACC, we click on multiplayer. We click on server list. And then at the top here, there is a search bar. So we can click that and paste in the hashtag that we got from the simracing.gp website. We press enter. It's not there yet, so we just need to keep refreshing that until it shows up. And there we go. After a while of pressing refresh, there it is. So we need to click on that one. Make sure that we've got the McLaren 720S selected. And then here we need to put in the server password. I'll try that. Click connect. There we go. So now we're in free practice mode. There is over four minutes left. Enough time for us to get familiar with the controls again. Get out there on track, which I think we'll do now. So we don't exceed the pit speed limit. Nice and easy. Right, so there are three of us in this. So we'll just get a feel for the car. See how it handles. So you don't need to be blisteringly quick in this race. Remember, all we need is four safe laps and complete the race. So there we go. Practice almost over. We'll just pull into the pits and wait for the start. Right, so qualifying on going. Let's try and get a quick lap in. We're not interested in winning the race. At all. So there's a guy coming up there, so we'll just let him through. We'll just try and get a lap in. It just gives us more time to get familiar with the car as well. 
Right, one flying lap. And that should do us. We'll see where we end up on the grid. This guy in front's really quick, so we're not going to beat him in qualifying. There we go. One more turn, and we've got a lap done. There we go. So we've qualified for the qualifier. A 1 minute 25.1. That puts us second at the moment. But of course, we're not interested really in where we finish. Right, let's go back to the pits. And we'll just wait for the race start. So qualifying over. We have qualified in P2. But again, I will stress that qualifying isn't that important. What is important though is us finishing the race and having four clean laps. And during the race, I'm going to talk about what I think about the brand new Logitech G Pro Direct Drive steering wheel. Early impressions are really good. I got chance to use this at the Sim Racing Expo in Germany and I was really, really impressed. But of course, you want to get to know how things are when you put them on your own rig in your own environment. Here we go then. A few seconds to go. We'll click drive. Start the engine. There we go. So I need to remember not to get drawn into a race with the guy on pole. That's not what this is all about. We just want to qualify, save the racing for the latest splits. So it's just a short quarter of a lap here or so until we go green so I need to move over to the left hand side keep it under 70 kilometers an hour there we go so we're not going to get drawn into a race we just want to keep it nice and safe oh he's run over the bollard there straight away Let's just try and get some heat into the tyres. Get a feel for the car. And see where we are after a couple of laps. Oh, he's run wide. Again, we don't want to go off track. We want to keep it nice and clean. Oh, sliding on cold tyres. Gotta be careful. Oh, and again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Careful, Dave. He's off again. So, one clean lap. So let's talk about the Logitech G Pro Direct Drive steering wheel base now. Uh, this was an absolute doddle to install on the rig. Like really, really is. It's a, a bottom mouse steering wheel. It does come with a table clamp, but I've got it attached to my SimLab rig. Other rigs are available. And it's just three holes on the bottom of the steering wheel base you just attach that to your wheel deck and away you go three bolts one usb cable Ooh. steady dave one usb cable download the software and away you go really really straightforward setup process the actual unit itself is bigger than what i'm used to the direct drive wheelbase that i've used prior to this aren't as big although they haven't looked as nice either, so you can't have everything. So this direct drive unit is housed in a beautiful casing. But the force feedback, really good. It's only an 11 Newton meter base, and people seem to get hung up on the numbers for a direct drive wheelbase. They think the higher the number, the better, and that's not the case. This is 11 Newton meters. And I have it at 80% in ACC. I don't even have it at 
And 80% is plenty strong enough for me in ACC without question. And all of the detail is there. Just there when I'm running over the curves and the grass. All of the detail is there. Really, really impressive. We've waited a long time for Logitech to bring out the direct drive wheel. We've all been waiting for, well, for literally years. Finally, it's here. As I mentioned earlier, I got a chance to try it at the Sim Racing Expo in December in Nuremberg. And I was super impressed. Like, super impressed with how it felt. I really didn't expect it to feel as good as it does. And that's continued now. I've mounted it on my rig and the seating position is familiar. Oh, it's a little bit wide there. The seating position is familiar. So the only thing that has changed is the direct drive wheelbase. And it only took a couple of laps to get used to how this force feedback on this felt and how different it was to the wheelbase that I've been using previously. And it's perfectly fine. The shifters are really nice and quiet. It has a, a dual clutch installed, which is nice. Oh, is that a clean lap? Does that still count as a clean lap? We'll soon find out. I think we've done four clean laps already, but we'll just keep going. I'm sure that won't count as an off track. Tire pressures are all over the place. So halfway through the race now. All is good so far. It's a, a punishing track, Brands Hatch. It really is. This back section here, if you're not committed, you don't get a, oh, a very good lap time, but it's so easy to make mistakes just like that and take too much curb. So yeah, back on to the force feedback really really nice um, it's actually quite smooth although there is still lots of detail there and when I've added damping to previous wheelbases I've lost quite a lot of the detail and it's not the case with this wheelbase it's all still there which I'm quite surprised at and the more I'm using it the better it is starting to feel. Whoa! And what I have noticed, I can find, or I can feel, sorry, the ABS working more with this wheelbase than I can on my other wheelbases. I can definitely feel that more when you're losing traction at the front end. Really impressive. And obviously this is compatible this this version that I've got here with whoa with the Xbox you don't have many options if you want to race with a direct drive or oh, too much curb race with a direct drive wheel on a console but thankfully Logitech now have one of those options and as sim racers we've probably all been a Logitech customer at some point or as gamers even we've all been a Logitech customer at some point like I'm wearing the Logitech G Pro wireless headset right now thankfully Logitech sent me that but prior to this I had the Logitech is it the 633 wireless headset which is still in use today my son uses that one that's still in use today and I've had that one probably about five years and it's still going strong but the next one will probably be the last lap I'm interested to see what happens when we've actually done this though I don't want to push it too much now with just over 30 seconds to go I don't want to throw it into the gravel trap that would ruin my day one more lap We don't want to bin it on this last lap, David. Don't slide it around turn number one. No good will come of sliding around turn number one on the final lap when you don't want to crash. You don't need to push. But I can't help it. I'm enjoying it.
Oh, let's get by this guy. We don't want any trouble. And there we go. I think we can call that one a success, I believe, but we'll see. We can see after the race and see what it says on simracing.gp. So we've left ACC and jumped back into the simracing.gp website. Had to wait a few minutes for the session to close. And lo and behold, we get this notification. So congratulations. Tis the season for giving. As a proven SGP driver, we are granting you the Logitech G Challenge qualifying badge, making you eligible to participate in the next knockout tournament starting on January the 10th. Well, that's been and gone, but there will be another one. That's not all. Everyone who competes just one G Challenge qualifying race has the chance to win an all expenses paid trip to the 2023 F1 Austrian Grand Prix and meet Lando Norris along with other great prizes. We did it. We qualified. So what does that mean? Well, it means now that we can actually race in the knockout stages of the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. Now, from this point forward, we need to choose a region where we're going to be racing. And you can click on these and it tells you the time zones of the race. So they're at 10 a.m. in the morning. And then we'll click on the next one down. These are the European ones. These are 8 p.m. in the evening in the UK. Then we click on that one. That's Latin America. They're at 11 p.m. in the evening. And the bottom one is North America. And that is 2 a.m. my time. So the one that we would pick is the European one. It's this one here. We click that one. That means then we can then sign up for the knockout rounds and try and progress in the competition. And this one, the track has changed. It is now at Misano. So that's all there is to it. I will leave links down below in the video description. It's really easy. Sign up for Sim Racing GP. Connect your Discord account. Connect your Steam account. Qualify. And then you can enter the knockout stages and away you go. Remember, if you qualify, you're automatically entered into the draw to win that VIP trip to the Austrian Grand Prix and meet Lando Norris. And also, if you compete in the splits after qualifying, well, you're automatically entered into the sweepstake where Logitech G are giving away weekly prizes. And who knows? You might have what it takes to go all the way to the end and win some cold, hard cash. So I want to say a massive thank you to Logitech G for giving me this opportunity to present this to you, for sending me this Logitech G Pro Direct Drive steering wheel. I will do a follow-up video going into a little bit more detail about the steering wheel base itself, but hopefully I've given you all the information to get up and running with the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. As always, Thanks for watching. Good luck. See you later. Cheers.